What's going on everybody? This is Steve with the Mr. Big Kid channel. Thank you all so much for watching and thank you all for tuning in. I screwed up. I was out of town for a couple weeks. While I was out of town, I forgot to put a cover on my Pit Boss 820 Pellet Grill. We finally got a monsoon storm that I've been waiting for literally the entire summer. We finally got a monsoon storm. Moisture got into the hopper, all of the pellets. They all got swollen, basically inflated to the size of Cheetos. The entire hopper was like a solid piece of cork. It took a long time to try to chisel everything out and get that vacuumed out. Unfortunately, the auger is still jammed. So what I'm guessing is any pellets that were still inside the auger probably got moisture in them too, got swollen as well. I need to take the auger out of the pit boss now to see if I can manually clear that. If I can't clear it, I'm probably gonna take the pit boss out to the desert and give it some uh, 50 BMG therapy. I love the pit boss though, and I can't blame this grill for that. It was my fault. Moisture and pellets are a bad combination. I mean, I'm talking, they will swell up ridiculously. They look like little horse grain uh, pellets, you know, when they're dry. As soon as you put them in a cup of water, do this, take a pellet, put it in a little plate of water, bowl of water or something, it swells up to like a Cheeto. Before we do, don't forget to hit that like button and leave a comment in the comment section below. Have you ever done this as well? Mr. Big Kid channel is all about firearms and barbecue. If you guys like firearms and barbecue as well, I'd like to encourage you all to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the bell notification icon so you know when I'm making new videos. Let's get started. All right, well, let's get this cover off. So let's see if we can bring the old pit boss back to life. Look at that, I even vacuumed it all out inside and everything, ready to go. But this auger is jammed. So there's the auger. I'm gonna turn it on, you'll see the problem. Here, get jammed up. So I want to drop the auger out and see if we can clear out whatever's going on. One, the two screws right here, and then do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws on the bottom. Pull it out, the control panel right here. I'm just gonna feed it to the back, through the bottom here. I'm gonna take this screw out, this screw out, and then the back ones as well. And I'm gonna try to pull the whole hopper down to get like a bucket to put the hopper on. To detach the motor from the auger, you have like a set screw and a nut right there. You take those off. To take the entire assembly out, all you gotta do is just pop this Phillips screw right there. This thing has been an absolute nightmare. It's so jammed up. It doesn't just slide out like it should. Got it. You know, I thought that thing was gonna be stuck in there for good. It's actually not as bad as I thought it was, but I'm gonna go ahead and clean out the tube and, oh, that thing is just jammed full. All right. Well, my suspicion was spot on. This is like a solid piece of wood inside the tube. Oh my goodness, this is ridiculous. I think all I can really do is chisel a little bit at a time and vacuum it. Well, I got it. This tube was so completely full, it was like a solid piece of wood all the way down. I couldn't even put this thing back in. It was so hard to get out. But sure enough, I got it out. 
cleaned it up, ran some paper towels through it, got all that crap out of it. And then I cleaned up the auger. It's actually in really good shape. It's not rusty or anything. It's just like colored, oxidized, I guess. So now that we're cleared up, I'm gonna put everything back together the same way I took it out, and then let's give it a try. some nice dry pellets that have not seen moisture. Let's try to keep it that way this time. Let's see if it works. Probably needs to get primed. Well, it sounds like it's turning. Oh, we got a pellet. We have one pellet right now. That's good. That's a good sign. Two pellets. Ladies and gentlemen, the pit boss is alive. Two years later, still kicking. That was a pain in the butt. But I wanna show you guys something real quick. All right, just a little small handful of pellets. You can see how much those things are just swollen now. I mean, that's why you don't get any moisture inside your hopper. This is an original pellet and that's what they turned into. What a total pain in the butt. Seriously, that was insane. I thought it was gonna be easy, like, open the auger, get the auger out, just simple little twist and pull, get all the crap out of it, put the auger back in and that's it. Not so much. That was a couple hour process because the auger was so jammed in there. That tube was a solid piece of wood. So I was able to get that auger and crank it out and spin out, but the process of chiseling all that stuff and then vacuuming everything, it was, it was quite a bit. But the pit boss is back up and running. A lot more barbecue videos, pit boss barbecue videos for you guys soon. And I will be doing a quick two year review on the pit boss soon. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys like this video found informative, please give me a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section below. Again, has this happened to you before? You can't blame the pellet grill. You have to blame the property of the pellets. That's what happens to pellets when they get wet. It is what it is. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so you know when I'm making new content. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.